Keenan Allen is a very, very good wide receiver. Which of his talents do you think is overrated? <laughs> I know that's your boy, man. I've never seen him go. What's going on, Yo, man? what's up, dude? Boss, what's up? It's so what you come true, Everything good? Yeah, man, it's How you doing, good. man? How was practice? I've been good, I've been well. How about it was, you? It was good, man. You know, you're nice and sweaty. Worked out. You, see, you're loose already. Yeah, that's true. I'm nice and warm. All right, now you know the rules. You might have played this once or twice. Six cups. I make a shot. I get a chance to ask a question. You make a shot. You ask a question. We good? Okay, so I know you played this game once or twice yeah. before in your life, sure, right? Sure, sure. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's All right, cool. It. You can go ahead first. Let me shoot first. You. Boom. All right. Oh, we ain't no, we, we don't worry about elbows or anything like that. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, bro, shouldn't pass this, huh? Right, right, right. Like, I didn't play too much. Hey, see, you, you know, know he didn't know how to play for real, man, right? So now I'm too getting... much. But I know about it. Mm. Oh. This could be a long game. Oh, come on. Shooting like that, this could be a long game. Nice. Oh. Let me I get the, arc. the flick of my wrist here. That's where they say it's at. Oh, yes, come I'm about on, to say, bro. I mean. Hey. You up. What, what question you got for me? You have 43 and a half sacks as a Charger. Which one was your most memorable? And take us through the play. Oh, God. Um, but see, you know, I'm kind of old, right? So Monday night against the Raiders. Mm -hmm. They had Aaron Brooks at quarterback, and that went off. So that was probably my big, biggest one. But, you know, I like hitting Tom Brady. For so sure. that's, that's really what it comes yeah. down to. But the most memorable sack and most memorable night was against the Raiders. 2006 Monday Night Football. When was your rookie year? Uh, 2005. Long, long, so you probably was in what, high school? 2005, yeah. Or no, 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 not even. Going in elementary, yeah. Come on! Because I was born in 97. So yeah, man, you was up there. Yeah. You was up there. Dang, all right. Yeah. Boom! There it goes. That's what I'm more. talking about. See, my, you know, my wrist had to just get warmed up. Stand that's more. all. You are given $1 million cold hard cash tomorrow. What do you do with it? You can either put it in a bank, buy a car for your parents, or fly to Vegas with your boys. Mm, I don't know. I mean, you can do a lot more than just one of those with a million dollars, but I would, uh, I'd buy my parents a car. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. What kind of, what kind of that'd whip? smooth. I'd probably, I don't know. I feel like it would be funny to put them in like something really exotic just to see my two old parents riding around like the new Hummer or something. Right. Crab walking, you know, around. Just right, just something folks. big, yeah, something yeah. obnoxious. Obnoxious. Right. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Oh, there we go. I needed that one. Boom. Damn, you hit again. There we go. Keenan Allen is a very, very good wide receiver. He also is a talented musician and golfer. Between his game, singing, and piano playing, which of his talents do you think is overrated? <laughs> is overrated? I know that's your boy, man, but you got to you know, you gotta. The football, the singing, and then what else? So you got the musician, the golfer, and singing. Golfing? I say he's overrated as a golfer. I've never seen him golf, but I was on his live yesterday watching him swing a little bit on IG. And I don't I don't play as much as he did. It didn't look like anything I couldn't get out there and swing for, you know what I mean? So So he got that he got that Charles Barkley swing going. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. You exactly. got one of those? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, well let me, let me I ask hate you Charles this. Barkley swing. But since I know that's your boy, what do you learn from a guy like that? Oh, what do you learn? I mean it's everything to learn. Kenan's it just he's got a lot of years of experience. Yep. on someone like me. I see myself in Keenan, because he's a real cool dude. He's just, he's he's older, he's farther ahead in life, but he's still, you know, young and really personable and relatable. So, I mean, literally everything on the field, off the field, carrying yourself, rehab, anything I can take notes on key, I'm, I'm watching. Dope, dope, I agree with that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's coming back, man. They call me rubber band elbow back in the day. I guess you know, so. Slap that right in there. You averaged 18.2 yards per reception last year. The third highest among NFL wide receivers. What about your game allowed you to be such a deep threat? I seen you go, man. So you can, you know. Uh, my go hard, I guess. A lot of people are fast in the league. So, you know, you could easily say speed, but I feel like I'm relentless. I want to go out there and run fast in the first quarter, in the second quarter, in the third quarter, fourth quarter, you know what I mean? So just doing it over and over again, play after play after play, just eventually wears them down. Like, you know, you might be fast, you might can get up to my speed, but like, I'm here, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is where I play at. Right, so basically you're getting behind anybody. That's, that's I'm what trying, you're you know what I mean? That's, okay. the, that's the goal. I like that. Here we All go. Right. Let me get back into yeah, it. Yeah, you know. 
Oh, yeah, that's it right first there. First one out. Which one of your favorite teammates was the biggest party animal? Share one story to back it up. Whew. We had a few. I would say Steven Cooper. The middle line, our middle linebacker, Stephen Cooper, man, yeah. he was he was out of control. And then we had a, a name for him. When he had a couple of drinks, we started calling him Ronaldo. Uh, so when Ronaldo came out, we were like, okay, everybody got to watch Ronaldo because that was his nickname. So he might be over there dancing in the club, jumping on everything, jumping on people. He was one of those. Yeah. So when Ronaldo came out, everybody had to had to get lost or grab him and get up out of there because he was crazy. That's good. It's good to have linebackers that are a little crazy though. You know what I mean? We, we all we all a little bit loose. Perfect for the job. We all. A little bit loose <laughs> up there. Oh, hey, yo, can I can I get the re rack you over can. there? Can we line it back up? You got it right. All right. Oh. oh. <laughs> Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Man, you was practicing, wasn't you? I, exactly I had a couple little shots while I was up there. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. Know exactly what All the right. game plan was. Here we go. You went from one game played in 2019 to 16 games played in 2020. What was your goal for the 2021 season? Because you, you had a bit, you had a bit, yo. I mean, you tore it up, bro. I appreciate so. it. My goal, I remember telling some of my folks that like coming into the, the last season, I kind of knew my role. We had the three guys, we had Dre and Keaton and Mike. So I was just kind of ready to come in and play my role just grind get, make the team I remember some of my first goals were just still make the team you know what I mean like right. I, by no means was a shoe in so I'm like it's like another rookie season kind of just trying to get in and get my spot you know by the end of training camp I, I had a starting spot and stuff so it was it was a dream come true but man I never would have thought like this is what I had opportunity to go right. you know what I mean like I thought I was a, a little bit less you know yeah. what I mean not, not not quite as much but you put people on notice now so like now they're gonna come out this year and they're gonna know what you're gonna do now so yeah yeah exactly now you gotta you gotta be ready to right. come back with something new oh yeah let me go Dude, ahead. I'm not even hitting any try to clean these up over here oh that's all if I could shoot rapid fire oh come on <sighs> There we go. Thank God. You're well known for your lights out dance celebration. How did you come up with it? Uh, the lights out dance, yo. So when I was in high school, uh, my sophomore year, I knocked out four kids in one game. Okay. I knocked out four God. dudes. I knocked out four dudes in one game. So after the game, yeah. people started to come up to me. Some of the students yeah. and my classmates, they said, "Man, you knocked you knocked them dudes lights out." And so I just kind of played it off like it was supposed to happen. I said, yeah, you know, call me lights out. <laughs> you know, just kind of smooth. Of and course. then the next day, you know, Monday, when we got back to school, everybody's like, yo, what's up, lights? It kind of caught on. That's hard. So That's I always really kept cool. the name lights out through high school, college, and the pros. My sophomore year, and then my sophomore year, I got yeah. the light switch. That's crazy. And so that's how, you know, I flicked the light switch when I'm doing lights out dance. That's a cool name, too. You just show up and there's, what's up, lights? That's smooth. Yeah. That's real smooth. You yeah. must have been taking it to them, though. Yeah. No, I was. I was Four gunning. dudes in one game? Yeah, I was gunning, man. You know, the parents are looking at me like, man, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. let's get this dude off the field. The parents are like, who? Like, they kind of think you're a problem on the field. Right, you're right. a danger. Oh, yes, off the good. rip. There it goes again. Give us your best Lorenzo Neal story. Oh, wow. Low Neal, best fullback of all time. But my rookie year, when I came in, I came in late to camp. Our first day, that uh, I came in, it was pads. The very first day, I'm looking out, there's 3,000 fans at practice, so I'm getting all hyped up, I'm going. We go to the one-on-one -on -one drills, and I'm supposed to do a pass rush move on low. And I go and I hit low and I blow low up, and the crowd went crazy. I didn't think at the time that that was Lorenzo Neal. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I was a rookie, God, so I'm yeah. like coming in, I'm just hyped up, and I hit low, I put him on his butt, crowd going crazy, I'm, I'm, I gave him the Allen Iverson step over, I'm like, oh, yeah. you know. As a rookie, you As a rookie, good, you know, yeah. I come, I'm, I, yeah, I just hit low Neal, yeah. right? The next play, I go up there, and we go one-on-one -on -one pass rush again. I'm supposed to go around him, I'm thinking I'm gonna run right through him again. And dude, when I tell you it was the hardest I've been a hit in my life still to this day, yeah. I felt my blood rush in my face, my fingertips. I didn't even know when I hit him, my hand just went up. Like my, something happened with my nervous yeah. system and my hand just flew up in the air. And so from that day, I was like, okay, I, I'm not doing that to Lil Neil no more. I shook his hand and I was like, okay, we're going we gonna to keep it cool from Truth. now on, sir. Yeah, That exactly. was it. My dog, Jalen, we hit it 15 minutes. We got to meet him. Good to meet you, bro. Good, man. Have good a good season. Stay healthy. Absolutely. And I know they're going to be gunning for you now because you already put on the show. Yes, sir. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.